I've met some people. They might have a cure. There isn't a cure. Welcome to freedom. This way. They have a facility. That's where I've been. The idea was that it was a, a, a sort of a space, an environment which had been created for experimentation by these actually rather well-meaning uh, scientists stroke Christians. The initial idea for it was that it would be one of those sort of strange country houses that you sort of glimpse behind hedges that the, the, the old cults tend to occupy. That was a bit of a cliche. We found this incredible location, the old uh, Bank of England vaults, which is right slap bang in the middle of Bristol. And it struck me that actually there's something to be said for that, and that's quite an interesting idea that that actually they are hiding in plain sight. It's an incredible place. You come in the main entrance and there's this huge kind of loading bay area to where we have the, the decompression chamber. And then there are just, you know, you there are just miles and miles of corridors and these weird little rooms. It's such a kind of old, versatile place. We actually use it for lots of different locations within the show. It's like um, the coroner's office are actually uh, one of the rooms. In the, in the facility. There is this huge uh, area, one of these rooms, with this beautiful kind of glass domed roof, which was the kind of the lobby of, of, an, of the actual bank. Oh, and similarly, the, the police station in episode uh, three uh, is again a, a, another room within, all within this place. So we really kind of lucked out. Hello? Should this be happening? I don't think it's normal. The compression chamber, it's actually a rainwater harvesting tank. We cut the front of it and replace that with a big sheet of glass across the front. And then we added all the other extra bits and pieces. I think the thing that actually makes it uh, look as impressive as it is, is actually the lighting inside, which are just normal fluorescent tube fittings. Uh, when it's on the back of a truck traveling um, through Bristol on its way to the facility, it doesn't seem quite so impressive. And we added all the hoses. I mean, the idea was that there were uh, kind of umbilical cords and all that comes through into here, into the control room. I've said that to, to, to lighting that I'm quite happy to see cable, see the camera cables, see the lighting cables. Um, because it's a temporary setup, they've set up their own lighting within the facility, uh, they set up their own power within the facility. Um, so I'm happy to see all that. I think it adds a, a, a nice texture to the whole thing. In terms of the, uh, the role it fulfills within the show, it struck me that ultimately they believe that what they are doing is good and is for the benefit, not only of mankind, but more specifically the benefit of these people. And uh, it struck me that they would be incredibly well resourced financially. And so they would have established this, uh, this base with uh, this decompression chamber and so on. And uh, this is where they, they carry out their work. But we believe with every transformation, the wolf gets stronger until it's as though the creature infects your life between changes. Has that been your experience, George? Does it work? You would be the first.